We have an exciting, exciting episode for you guys. We're gonna take you on a pond tour, but it's not just any pond tour. It's because we have two distinguished guests joining us, Laura from Garden Answer and Kevin from Epic Gardening. We're gonna take them on the pond tour. Sometimes seeing those expressions as you walk through the gates are just priceless, right? And that's the kind of energy, that's kind of the feel we like to create with every single one of our designs. You open that gate, and oh my God, how does this fit in the backyard? Not only are we doing a crazy pond tour, but we're doing a signing. They are gonna have signing booths. We're doing this whole kickoff party. There's 550 plus people gonna be there. We've got a night in the garden type event. It's a private event. All the proceeds from that go to kids in gardening. And you know, it's just an awesome cause. It is gonna be a crazy week. <laughs> Okay, today is the big day, and you can see there is a big line to see Laura and Kevin. I came up with the idea, the team has been planning this for a long time, and my number one goal is to expose people all over the world to living the aquascape lifestyle, which is why I do my vlogs, but to be able to work with an influencer like Laura, an influencer like Kevin, who are both living the aquascape lifestyle, and have the ability to share with the masses what this is all about, it's by far the biggest thing that you can do in a garden. I mean, look at, look at the line here. The number one thing that you can do is to create a water feature that will absolutely change the space. I'm having a blast today. I got Brian here. What a fun day. I love my job. <laughs> My goal is to really expose you guys to the lifestyle. So for the next two days, is everybody going on the pond tour today and tomorrow? Hey, how about a, how about a hand for Epic Gardening? <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me, Greg. No, it's really cool to be here. Ed came and did my pond uh, masterfully, I will say. And uh, yeah, no, it's an, it's an incredible, we're out there every single day. Hey, I'm living the Aquascapes lifestyle now. Greg promised me I wasn't going to have to talk on stage, but here we are. She can say anything. Just say one thing that you loved about yesterday. We got to see some awesome ponds, and we got to film them, which I'm really excited about. Thank you all so much for coming. This is just always so incredible to see all of your faces. It's so different from what I'm used to on a, on a normal day. Yeah. You know, just a camera in front, of, in front of me. So this is just a real treat, and Aquascape has, all of you guys have treated us so well. So this is kind of what I imagined it like. Uh, these enormously long lines. Everybody's here to see Laura and Kevin. Uh, yesterday we took them on that incredible pond tour. Today the pond tour is open to the public. And so after all these people meet Laura and Kevin, they're gonna go out and live that aquascape lifestyle, which is why we do the pond tour. So people can feel, hear, touch the water, see how everybody else is living that aquascape lifestyle. Today is gonna be an awesome, awesome event. Kevin, first time meeting you, like we talked so much on the phone yep. and kind of collaborated on some stuff I want to do in the back, which I can't wait to get your ideas at some point. But yesterday we went on a pond tour. Yeah. What, what'd you think? It was crazy. Yeah. It was crazy. I mean, I have obviously I have the pond that you guys yep. did for us, which is amazing. But the scale and scope of like different styles, I had no clue. Yeah. It was, it was incredible. Is there a certain pond that like kind of spoke to you? Like you like the vibe of it the most? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, there were a few. I, I think the. The natural, so yeah, the, the one that had like a hundred foot stream. The oh, Lifka. Lifka, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So going into that natural wreck pond with yeah. all the koi like seven feet deep, jump off the rock, 
hang out, but then Peggy Judd's at the end yep. of the day was was incredible. Yeah. But I'm a, I'm a gardener, right? Yeah. So like for for more reasons than the pond, sure. Kind of really built into the landscape, which for for me, like when when you guys did our pond. I had not landscaped around it for a while. Uh -huh. And Greg comes and was like, you've got like a Ferrari with a minivan exterior. And I was like, all right, cool, you're right. And I put something in. Hey, Greg's and Greg's analogies so, are awesome. took some landscaping in smoke. Yeah, sure. that's awesome. I don't know what your expectations were going into it, but. Less than that, I will yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, less than that. No, they were incredible. I, I would say go on a pond tour if you're if you're ever thinking about a pond. To me, it's, it's, it's such a part of your life from then on. Mm -hmm. You might as well like have every piece of info and every piece of inspiration that you could possibly have before you get it. Sure. That's what I think. Yeah, we, we talk about enjoying the lifestyle, right? And and somebody that doesn't have a pond, it might sound a little corny. Like, mm -hmm. hey, you have to experience the lifestyle. And you can try to show people pictures. You can try to do videos. And you knew who said like that yesterday, that. actually, yeah. Jacques. Oh, Jacques you did? on our team. He was like, I find, I think I get the lifestyle. Now. Oh, that's so, so awesome. It's exactly right? what it is, yeah. So that was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, today you did the meet and greet. Uh, I thought there was 550 people that came. I saw the line. Great. Like, crazy long i don't know how you deal with it like signing autographs it was and cool else. it was very fun. cool i mean we've, we've rarely ever done a meet and greet at epic like uh -huh. I, I did one i think earlier this year a small one it's just cool to see people in person and then tonight this is the first time we've ever done this we're doing uh the charity event mm -hmm. that uh, you and laura agreed on right kids in gardening and um we have 150 people i believe coming to dinner night and we've transformed the whole cafeteria to look a little bit more like a garden. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And Greg came out and did the pond. Well, actually, Ed came out yeah. and did our pond. Yep. But then Greg came out afterwards and t told me I had the Ferrari with the minivan, <laughs> you know, no. And he's like, you gotta come out to Aquascapes. And I think Greg undersells what you guys have built here. To me, I mean, he, he talks it up, but not, he doesn't actually say kind of the scale. Sure. That you guys have taken this. Sure. And, I mean, we're obviously standing in, in, in front of a huge pond, uh, but even just the, I mean, I'm a businessman, right? Yeah, so, yeah. like, the way you guys have run your business is really impressive. Like, you've got the rec rooms upstairs, sure. the warehouse, it's all integrated. Like, it just, it kind of blew me away yesterday. Oh my gosh, Laura, like, so, it just seems like, like a whirlwind of things have been happening. Yeah, yeah. But before we get too far into the rest of the weekend here, I wanted to recap yesterday. I left feeling so inspired. I wanted to go straight home and just oh, start did you? planting things. And yeah, I just, I was filled up. That's awesome. Yeah. It just, it becomes a part of your life. Yeah. I mean, it, it truly does. And I, coming from a person who is skeptical, skeptical to even get upon yeah, in yeah, the first yeah. place. I remember. I feel like yeah. I'm, a, I'm an absolute believer. Yeah. I mean, you find yourself wanting to be out there because there's a piece in a pond and moving, moving water that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah. And so I find that a lot of people have their ponds close to where they live. They want it, uh, you know, front and center with the view. And now we're thinking, we've got a perfect spot <laughs> near our kitchen where we would maybe really like to have some moving water and a place to sit right there. I mean, it's just incredible. If you're thinking of getting a pond, it's kind of like getting a greenhouse. Uh -huh. Get as big of a one as you can afford to put in, yep. honestly, yep. because the more features it has, the more awesome it is. Yep. You know, and I learned that yesterday from, I got to see a stream coming off of the pond, which we're going to have here soon. Yeah, yeah your, the dream stream. And then seeing the plunge pool and seeing how your family can then utilize it even more and sure. be around it even more. I would say that was a huge takeaway. Um, also, how plants are integrated around it. And plants can make or break the feel of a pond. Oh my gosh, yes. Just how it looks in the, yeah. You talk about before I've like watched a bunch of your stuff, but there's something about like a properly landscaped yard and how it just like, it changes your mood, your it feeling. Does. And and so we go into like, I knew it would be your favorite, Peggy's. Yeah. And you walk in that backyard and just like, there's this instant sense of calmness that yeah. comes over you and you yeah. just feel relaxed and yeah. you want to sit down, you want to explore. Yeah. And uh, and I think that's where we uh, connect a lot with like design, yeah. like the mystery behind everything and where yeah. does this pathway lead you and what do you discover? And I had the same feeling on a, it's just a different scale uh -huh. between yours and Peggy's because oh. it is the same feel, but yours is in a smaller lot yep. and hers is in a bigger space. But the way that they were both landscaped, it made you feel like, well, one, the plants around the rock, hugging the rocks and going into the water, it looked really natural. But then there's also lots of little pathways and little secret spots uh -huh. where you, it pulls you around and not everybody does that. Yeah, yeah. And so to have that kind of um, mystery sure. in the space is awesome. Also, a pond cools the temperature down <laughs> so dramatically. Yeah. Being around water and going into these different gardens with big tree canopies, just like this instant calm. Wow. Cool. And instantly I see you putting your toes in oh, just yeah. about every one of I those ponds. I think I got ponds. in every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
it, it's unexplainable how it changes your life. And I see it through your videos, talking with you and Aaron and stuff, how the kids are always out there. It's a place to kind of bring the family to finish off or start the day. And um, the Dream Stream is going to do more. Do you have new ideas you want to do with the Dream Stream? Well, I got to see the original copy of your mock-up yeah, drawing. Yeah, on the drawing. Which is always fun to look at. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just so, <laughs> I'm just so excited. It's hard for me to visualize, like, well, it's easier for me now that I've seen it before. I didn't, wasn't sure about rocks in the garden, and now uh -huh. I'm like, can we have more? Boulders. Can we have boulders, more boulders? boulders? Yeah, and then plant choice. I think seeing the different plants sure. around really gave me some good inspiration. Well, I can't wait to come back in October. Um, I think we're going to come up early, do prep work. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep the band together, bring the same people. I hope so. That's right? so fun. <laughs> so, like, I don't like, there was 550 people here to see you and Kevin. It the was lines incredible. were great. Yeah. The people, your fans are fantastic. You know, we were, we have been blessed with an amazing community. Yeah. I mean, how can you go wrong with people who like gardens, you know, gardens and ponds and things yeah. like that. It's just a really neat community. And, and, it, and we're just kind of like halfway through. Like, we've got this big dinner we're going to yeah. do tonight. It's going to an unbelievable cause uh, from kids the UNT yeah, Kids Gardening, mm -hmm. which I can't wait to see how much money we uh, um, get to donate to them. So you guys coming in, we've got some really cool uh, auction items mm -hmm. and stuff. It's going to be an awesome event, and thank you so much for coming out. Oh, thank you, Charlie. Yeah, you're the best. It's been a pleasure. All right. hand for M that came all the way in. Thank you so much everyone for having me tonight. Thank you to Greg and to the entire Office team. And a huge thank you to Kevin and Laura for inviting Kids Gardening to be the chosen charity for tonight's event. So at Kids Gardening, we know that when, when we get kids into the garden, we are growing more than just plants. We are growing healthy, strong, young bodies. Every one dollar will help kids gardening reach eight more kids with access to garden-based learning resources. You can see part of the option. Oh, one more thing. So we're gonna we're gonna do the donations in that thing. You're gonna scan the stuff. This is gonna all go to this great organization. And I just asked. You're gonna faint. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Did he breathe at all? Like one time, did you see him go? Oh, like he was gonna pass out. Let's get as much money for kids and guardian as possible. It's yes. such an awesome, awesome organization. If it's not for organizations like Kids and Gardening, this kind of stuff doesn't happen. And so let's 
dig deep. Because I know some of you guys can actually afford a pond. And if you can afford a pond, we can we could really raise a bunch of money uh, for Kids Guardian, and I think it would be awesome.